Now, if you know me, you know I love city building. It allows me to be creative, design beauties or monstrosities, and build a civilization in the harshest of conditions. But still, generally I'm a PC player. Not that I don't enjoy consoles, it's just so often the interface and controls of some games there can be frustrating or tedious. Which is why I'm excited, because today we have been sponsored to check out Endzone A World Apart and its new console release. This is a game that we've covered before, many times, and it's mostly agreed upon that it's pretty good. It looks great with a lot of details, it's got a comprehensive tutorial and a ton of options. But it coming to consoles, now I'm a little concerned. This is a survival city building game that has quite a bit of imperative to get things done quickly when disaster strikes. Will a controller hold me back or have they actually designed a control scheme that feels good? Importantly, before my foray into the wasteland this day, I only spent 15 minutes exploring the very basics of controls. So you get to see me play this on a console for the very first time and how smooth the transition is from me playing this on PC to my PS5. Oh, also, I've been in a prettifying mood this year with city builders for some reason, so we're going to be embarking on the Garden of Eden challenge scenario. If you'd like to check it out yourself, please do use the link down below just to let them know that you came from here. Thank you. Citizens of the world, welcome to Endzone A World Apart and I'm very excited today because I've got an excuse to do something I have never done before. Create a fully fledged console video. That's right, I've hooked up my PlayStation 5, well technically it's the missus's PlayStation 5, to my cam link. So instead of uh, recording my face, I'm recording the gameplay from the PlayStation. And the reason why we're doing this is because Endzone A World Apart has just come to consoles. And I'm actually, I've been very curious. You know, I've, I've sort of sidestepped, especially in terms of city building, to other platforms. I did do the, the sort of best mobile city builders uh, a while ago, a list game of mobile city builders, and some of them were actually really good. And I have a lot of friends who play uh, city builders on consoles, and since Endzone is a game that is considered pretty good, and we've covered it a number of times before, I thought, well, this is a good one to actually try this. So it's a lot of new things for me, all at the same time, and I'm actually excited to try it out. Now, we have played Endzone before, uh, but let's have a quick look at the console version. In terms of options, I mean, I remember a time when console games did not have options menu. This this is this is you know, I mean it, it's more normalized now, but like you've got separate audio sliders, uh, you got the UI scaling, color schemes, great accessibility there, uh, movement speeds and stuff like that. Active auto saves always good because I'm never gonna remember. <laughs> um, camera animations on or off, great highlight. Building. This, this is a great set of options, you know, for for a a console city builder. Now, I've dabbled a bit to make sure I, I do know the basic controls. And looking at new game, it's it's the full game, right? There's a tutorial, survival mode, and scenarios. I've been through the tutorial in the past, and I'm pretty sure I remember how to play. Survival mode, which is basically free play, and then scenarios, which are specific um, scenarios. <laughs> That's what they are. And uh, there's a whole bunch to play here. And, you know, I, I was sort of thinking, because I've been recently this year in a let's build our cities pretty kind of mood. Uh, there's this scenario here, Garden of Eden. In an environment so hostile to life, it's your responsibility to not only make sure that your settlers survive, but to equally ensure that they are happy in their new home. It is your mandate to show one and all that the new beginning of civilization is going to be a magnificent endeavor. Build a settlement in which each and every settler who has come from one of the end zones would be glad to live. So there's special achievements here. Design your settlement so that your settlers are eager to live there. Beautify your settlement to enable your settlers to have a pleasant life. And connect all dwellings to a power grid 
and equip your settlers with the best protective clothing. I'm not sure if we're gonna get that far today. Let's see if we even survive. But let's uh, play scenario. Ah, we're gonna build a beauty in the wasteland. The time has come to have civilization start anew. We have held out a long time to be able to come here to the surface at last. Now the time has come to show one and all that we are not only going to endure, but are able to lead magnificent lives. Establishing a new civilization takes time. The first thing you should do is to see to it that more and more people live in this new Garden of Eden. We are ready to deal with harsh conditions for the time being and to make do without some things. But even now, you ought to be readily planning this new settlement in such a way that in the future everyone will be eager to live here. Let's do it. And here we are in the end zone on a console. So first thing that's really nice about using a controller is you got these smooth mouse, <laughs> smooth mouse, smooth camera controls, uh, which is, is just a nice little change from, you know, basically my, my free hand, which is rather shaky. <laughs> but uh, my main concern with a city builder on console um, is controls, right? That's, let, let's pause the game. Look, I actually know how to do that. Uh, controls, like how do you how do you interact with a city builder on a con with a controller? Like there's so many hotkeys, so many buttons that you would need. So of course the UI has been switched up. You know, you can see the the indicators. You know, L3 brings up notifications, R3 brings up those drawbacks, L2 brings up the action menu, and you know you you sort of choose from here, and then there's another menu here. Right, there's that. Uh, you can like focus town center, just like that. Right, it's it's pretty straightforward. Uh, R2 slows down camera movement for more specific uh, placement of things like that. Right, you can go fast, you can slow it down. You know, so that that's a nice little thing. And then L1, R1 swaps between these two buttons here. You can just press the same one. And this is, and then you use the arrow keys, and you can go through the filters on here or go through the game speeds here. So that that's like, it's pretty, like you wanna set some builders? Okay, let's go to the builder menu, increase builders by three. There we go, we've assigned three builders. Like it, it took me as a primarily PC player to like maybe 20 minutes to sort of get used to it. And now I, I just sort of know how to do it on the fly. Now, in terms of being good at the game, well, that's another matter entirely. First, let's check ra radiation. <laughs> I, I think I remember how to do this. Okay, so there's some light radiation around us. We want to avoid that patch there. Um, but mainly up to the water, we're safe. So let's build some basics. Let's go to build. We don't start with a lot of stuff here. Uh, we'd want to set up a jetty to collect water. Uh, let's rotate like... Uh, you can rotate both ways. So let's just set a jetty right here. Uh, yeah, let's let's do that. Build a jetty right there. Bam. So now we can get water. Uh, we should also go to this. And, oh, well, they got to build it first. Uh, assign water carries is what I wanted to do. But for now, we can, nope, we can unpause the game. And let things run. And you can see in the bottom right corner, our immediate goals get up to 50 settlers, 15 cabins built and residential buildings in attractive surroundings. That might be a, take a little while. Uh, I think we should most likely focus on building resource gathering stuff. So uh, Forester's Lodge, always a good one to get. There's a lot of trees in our immediate vicinity. Uh, I think we would want to yeah, we can move the work area in a little bit. I don't think we want to build houses right here. So let's just build the Forester's Lodge. Yeah, the houses won't be here. So let's let's just do this. Uh, hold on, R2 uh, uh, to uh, slow down the camera movement. And yeah, we're not going to build houses here. So let's just build Forester's Lodge right there. Let's build a scrap yard to collect scrap. Uh, there's, yeah, there's a decent amount here. 
Let's rotate it like that. And yeah, let's, let's just cram all of these undesirable buildings right here. Um, we'll also... Oh, I should, before I forget, set this to uh, build next to make sure that builds first. Uh, then what else do we need? We'll need... Hmm... Workshop? No, I think we need uh, charcoal kiln. Like looking at our resources, uh, scrapyard recycler is probably important. This produces metal, cloth, plastic, or electronics from scrap. We're gonna need lots of plastic for things. So let's uh, have this right here. I don't know if this is a good thing to do, but I'm doing it. <laughs> so we got a source of water, and then we've got the basic construction stuff there. Uh, I think to speed up construction, we can just temporarily increase builders to max. And I'll turn that down in a little bit. But yeah, we got to get this going first. There we go. We have one jetty. So that means we should be able to... Oh wait, we need to build a water storage thing. I forgot about that. That's kind of important. Uh, water. We want to build a... Cistern, I think. Let's just put a cistern right here. Keep the water stuff together. As it says, the cistern collects and stores water. It requires a wooden jetty, a well, or rainwater collector to function. So let's set this to build next. Right? I've already started on those, but sure. <laughs> We're gonna build this one next. We gotta make sure we secure at least a water supply. That's kind of important, right? And then we got the basic resource production stuff. Yeah, it looks like it's got enough stuff here. Okay, good, good, good. Don't want to build houses quite yet. Okay, so we've got these things coming down. Let's uh, let's reduce the number of builders. Let's put in like two water carriers. Yeah, let's reduce that. Let's put a scrap collector, a forester, and a refiner. And the refiner, I think I'll set it on plastic for now, because we we might, I think we use quite a lot of plastic in terms of constructing things. Uh, but yeah, okay, that, that should be fine. We got the basics, I think, going. Let's see, anything else we should be building right now? Maybe a gatherer's cabin? Wait, no, let's, let's do fishing. Right? Let's do fishing. That's that's a smart one to do, right? Fishing hut efficiency. Let's just bring it one tile over. Build that. Source of food. That seems important. Yes? Good. Oh, look, look at that. Like, the on-screen controls helps a lot. I was like, oh, I want to check happiness. It, it It's right there. Like... As soon as I think, like one of the great points about the UI here is as soon as I think, how do I do that? And then I look and I find out how to do that almost immediately. It's like, I wanted to check the happiness. How do I do that? Oh, it, it shows right there. It's the up arrow key, even temperedness. Uh, the goal of this town is supposed to be making things pretty and um, happy, <laughs> which I don't, I, I still don't know if we're going to pull it off, but we're going to try. We're going to try. Um, I just don't want to kill ourselves being a bit silly at the start by planting a bunch of flowers or something. <laughs> that would be bad. And now we could do hunting lodge. We probably don't need that yet. Uh, charcoal kiln, probably important. Right? Produces coal from wood. I think we're going to need that. Cabins, we need to build 15 of those. But yeah, I think we should have this put down. So this this is going to be... I think I'll have it on this side. Just there. Charcoal kiln. Okay, it's not super nice, but okay. Uh, now, community, logistics. We can do some dirt roads to sort of... Yeah, let's, let's, let's do some roads. Keep people busy. Uh, and then, oh, nope, I want to draw one down all the way down to here and over to here. Okay. 
do that. Uh, anything we, we can go ahead and... Is this? No. We gotta do this. Okay, there we go. Nope, nope, nope. Like that. Oh, that's already built. That's my bad. Uh, I don't know if we need a road around the back here, but I'll build one anyway. There we go. The basics of our town. Production all around our bus wreck. I, <laughs> I don't know if this is an ideal thing to do. Uh, looking at radiation, if I wanted to build a housing area, I should try to avoid radiation, right? Like, I could build along here, but uh, to, to sort of make things a bit more compact. Because we want to make things desirable. Maybe I build it over here? Maybe I go around this corner and build there? Uh, it's going to be tricky, squeezing all the houses. I just want to keep all the polluting things right here. Oh, I see. I built that on radiation. Oh. Oh, well. That's fine. I'm, sh I'm sure we'll be fine, right? Okay, yeah. They're, they're, they're just removing radiation. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, so, yeah. we. Uh, I think it should be okay. Uh, we should build this next, by the way. So that we have a source of food. And also, let's check our stuff. Um, we can assign. Two are unassigned right now. Let's put one into charcoal burning. And one into fishery. Let's put two into fishery, because it's our only source of food. Let's put two into fishery. Okay, good. So now that we got the basics, I think I can start building cabins. Uh, let me just check. What do cabins need? Wood, scrap, and time. Yeah, we got that. 15 scrap. Okay, we actually... I think what I, what I do is... I'll be reducing the number of builders to increase the scrap collector. Yeah, so... Oh, this isn't built yet. Uh, this is... It needs 20 scrap. Okay, so we're actually not gonna have much scrap left over. I think for the... Uh, the wood... The forester's lodge. I'll set it to just cut down. Because I don't want these trees here. So I'll just, just cut down, save your time. That should... I assume that should double production. I don't know the stats of... The, of, of the game, actually, but I assume it should double production. Uh, then we'll reduce a builder and put in another scrap collector. Okay, scrap is actually going up all right. So now we should build our 15 cabins, right? We've got a source of food, we've got a source of water, we've got a place to store water. Uh, looking pretty good, yes. Do we need two water carriers? We probably don't need two water carriers. Right? Let's drop a water carrier. And let's... Get another forester. Okay. Alright, they're building the roads now. That's the least priority thing, but I guess we should let that happen. So we're stocking up on some resources, and then I need to... Build... I mean, since we can remove radiation... Should I build up houses up here? Or down here? Maybe up. Soil moisture. We can see where dehydrates first. So it seems like this line dehydrates first. Yeah, this, this looks like a nice enough spot to build, I think. Right? Nice open area. Because efficient placing of houses will make it easier to... Uh... Yeah, location attractiveness, we just don't want those. Yeah, this, this clearing here actually looks like a good spot for the houses. It's a bit far, but... It's not so much about efficiency today, right? It's it's about looking pretty. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, uh, I think the essential road is built. So let's go to construction, cabin. Oh, it's actually smaller than I thought. So I, I need to build 15. So I need... Oh, maybe I can just build it. I need to give it a little bit of space. Ooh, we could have like lakeside cabins here. That would be nice, right? So we just need three rows of five. So yeah, this, this will look good. Uh, but we need to make sure there's... Wait, wait, wait. I need to make sure that there's enough room to put the decorations down. Uh, let me... Cancel construction. Cancel construction. Build. Cabin. So I want to... Like, leave... Two gap, I guess? Right? Because we need to put a lot of location attractiveness. Let's do that. So we're going to five. I guess, yeah, I'll go up to, I'll go up to here. I'm sure they'll be fine. And then over here, we rotate it around and leave a gap of two as well. That should be enough. Enough um, space for location attractiveness, I'm assuming. Looking at our resources, yeah, that, it's going up. We should be fine. And then over here, I can have these. Uh, yeah, th these these can just share a road. Because we're just going to 15, so this is... Can this fit? I think it can fit. Okay. That's our 15 houses. Wow, our scrap immediately disappeared. So yeah, we don't have to rush building. It's gonna take a while. Uh, I can probably just plan out the roads for now. Dirt road. So we're going from here. Down to here. And this goes along. I guess we can loop it around. To there. And then this road will just hook up like that. There's some radiation in this area, but I guess that's just a fact of the wasteland. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so this, this looks nice. That's the residential area. This is the industrial area. And then we can do like service, community, cultural buildings here. Like it'd be nice to have a school here, the campfire. That'd be nice over here. Right, that should be good. So looking at these houses, yeah, it'll, it'll, they'll remove the radiation. Okay, so yeah, looking at resources, we actually need more scrap more than anything else. So let's... Uh, food is doing fine. Let's drop a fisher. Let's put another scrap collector. Do we need a refiner right now? We've made some plastic. production limit. Let's switch to metal. Just to stock up on a few. Like, get everything up to, like, 10. So in case we suddenly need something, we can just go get it, get it, right? Yeah, I think we're basically... Because I switched the forester to just cut trees and not to replant, I think that's why we're getting so much wood. But yeah, I do want all the trees in this area to just be cleared out a bit. And then I'll decide where to permanently work. Uh, I assume I'll probably use this as the forest area. Just that narrow area, right? That, that makes sense. It's like one guy clearing radiation with a shovel. <laughs> That's some hard work right there. We've got this new suburb development coming on in. So at this point, I think it makes sense to speed up the game a little bit. Right? Because it's just... Yeah, we're just really low on scrap. Maybe I should go all in on scrap. Because these houses... If I look at the resources... Where did all of our... 
I assume the scrap was dumped into some of these houses somewhere. Clear building area. So they've removed radiation. Yep. Wood scrap. 15 scrap. Oh, we actually need way more scrap than wood. So actually, let's reduce Forester. Go into scrap. In terms of recycler, we're now producing metal. That's good to see. Yeah, you can see up there, drawbacks. Homeless settlers build additional houses or shelters. Well, that's what we're doing now. That should come in next. Woods going in. Oh, wait, we, we've been using all the scrap to produce this stuff. So actually what I should do is... I forgot the refiner took scrap. Let's disable the refiner. Put in scrap. <laughs> I actually forgot the refiner used up scrap. But look, we actually we have got a house. We've got one house down. Nicely in the trees there. It looks nice. It looks nice. Now after this, we got to start decorating. Residential buildings in attractive surroundings. Yeah, we got to get that. But we'll build the cabins first. At least until there's no one homeless. Okay, now scrap is going back up. There we go. That looks good. Can't believe how much scrap this was using. It was a surprising amount of scrap. I'll switch to cloth for a bit. I just don't like those icons being red at the top. <laughs> okay, so now plenty of scraps coming in. We should be... Yeah, it doesn't really matter which house is built first. I see stuff being delivered. Yeah, wood scrap. I guess they're not really... Are they focus building? I think so. Oh, we got a second house. There it is. Second house coming on down. Nice. We did finish the road down here at least. That's nice. So... Let's speed things up. We gotta make sure people aren't homeless. Look how much scrap we're using. It's all going in the, into the houses. I think I can probably... Um, we've only got one forester. Foresters are efficient, huh? Okay, we'll just focus on scrap collecting then. What's going on here? Needs ruins. Oh, we gotta shift the work area. Uh, change field of work there there clear all the scrap from the residential area yes perfect because this is looking rather janky <laughs> clear the scrap out then the natural forest will look great perfect that's where we need to go i know the scrap down here was technically closer but again not efficiency we can see happiness, even temperedness. Look, average confidence. Settlers lead even tempered lives. If their needs are not met, they threaten to fall into discontentment. If you cater to their wishes, this increases their contentedness, which brings positive effects with it. And I think it's saying our population is going up. Oh, and then. Yeah, then you just browse all of this if you want. Okay, cool. So yeah, that, that's actually a really nice way of handling the top bar with a controller. Let's slow things down. A drought is coming. If a drought is coming... Hold on, before I get into that thought. If a drought is coming, let's drop a scrap collector, put another water carrier. Let's make sure we got a stock there. Ah, oh. But yeah, uh, the top bar... Like, at first I was like, how do you like pay attention to all of that like how do you browse all of that and then the up arrow key just allows you to check everything and it's actually not that hard growing population unassigned workforce how much unassigned workforce four. Oh, let's do this um let's food supply seems to be a little low so let's go up on fishers. Yeah, okay, good. We've got 16 settlers and now no one is homeless. Perfect. Okay, so now 
that we've got... Let's slow the game down. We've got enough houses, at least, for uh, our current population. So what is that? Rich food. The number of different types of food currently being stored at the settlement. Right. Maybe I should set up one more type of food. Right, so let's go to food. Orchard. Gatherer's cabin. Mushrooms and berries in forested areas. Yeah, th I think this is easy. So eventually this right side should be forested. So let's just set a gatherer's cabin right here. Start harvesting some things. Yeah, then I'll shift. Yeah. Two fishers, one gatherer. I'm just setting it now because I'll forget. <laughs> As I always do. How's our water supply? Looking good. Looking good. Like, we're, we're storing quite a bit. So now. Now I think we get into decoration. So let's go to build. And then decoration should be this one. So there's hedges, shrubs, flower beds, torches, street lamps, all sorts of things we can build. There's Halloween stuff as well, <laughs> if we so desire. But I, I want it to be pretty. So let's start with some hedges. So the hedges are one by three rows. And I think... Hmm. How do I want to do this? How big is a torch? Torches? Street lamps? Street lamps look nice. Ooh, I think there's ways we could make this look nice. How much do these cost? Wood scrap? Are they just wood scrap for everything? Just wood for the hedges. Wind chimes needs five metal. And yeah, we can produce this stuff. Scrap totem. Oh, this could... This could look... Kind of nice. So if I have like... Oh, I don't have a 3x3. Three three. Right, I only planned a gap of 2. That's... Mm, that's my bad. But not the worst thing. Maybe I should focus on greenery. Greenery with street lamps. I think that's what we're going to do. Oh, the street lamps change design. Oh, okay, that's going to look real nice. Okay, so what we can do is in the middle sections here. We have an assortment of street lamps. And we have yeah, that, that, okay, so the center's, uh, I think I'll continue this, because I think it'll look nice once things are lit up. I'll let it random a little bit, uh, this way. And then over here. The natural trees are a little in the way of my vision, but... Vision as in actual sight. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're gonna have some lights around the middle there. And then we gotta do hedges. So hedges, we can do like hedge. 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 This will be nice. So everyone's got like little border hedges on this side as well. There. 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 And there. And don't forget this row of houses here. 
Yes, we're building our own little Garden of Eden. Wonderful. And we can we can hit this as well. How much space is between five tiles? Okay. Five tiles. Okay. So that's quite a lot that we want to build right now. We are actually out of wood, which makes sense because we just put down a lot of stuff. Um, we can now cut back on scrap collector, put back a forester. Um, food supply has gone back up. Water is doing very well. So let's cut a water thing. Let's return a refiner. And yeah, we're going to just produce a little bit of cloth. I don't think anything we built here... Are these just... Are they just... Yeah, we're just out of wood. Yeah, that's fine. Wood scrap. Yeah, okay. Once that's built, it'll be nice and bright. So this should be progressing as well. We need to get the resources first, I think. Nice, the scrap is being cleared. So this area around the houses at least will look nicer. Did that, um, oh, this never got built either. I should focus on building that next. It just needs a bit more. Auto saving. Good. Because I actually, it completely <laughs> left my mind the idea of saving. What's that say? Oncoming drought, stockpile water and food in order to survive. The soil is going to become infertile. Okay. Um, do we have enough food? think we should actually focus maybe on that. Um, let's get rid of the charcoal burner. Put a gatherer. Let's get rid of a scrap collector. Put a fisher. Okay, I think we'll have enough water. We stored quite a lot of water, but food supply is kind of low. That's a little concerning, right? This clearing being cleared out of trees makes it a bit easier to see things. That's good. I think we did actually get one street light built. Nice. So if I check the filters, location attractiveness. So it says residential buildings and attractive surroundings, 12 out of 15. So actually all of them are in attractive surroundings right now. We just need to build the remaining houses. So yeah, I think I overdid it with the attractiveness. <laughs> Maybe I overdid it a bit, but ah, oh, come on, we're building the Garden of Eden. It's got to look nice. I think we can speed up the game a bit. Yeah, we're just out of wood because it's all going into hedges. Look at those hedges going down. Once nighttime rolls around, the, the lamps and stuff, the torches should make things look pretty cool. Is food just not doing that well? Like I increased the amount of food gatherers we got, and this this just took off, right? This gatherers cabin. Okay, if I look at here. Let's drop Scrap Collector, put another Gatherer. Okay, now food's going back up. Gonna cross 200 soon. Okay, keep chopping down trees so we can plant shrubs. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Look at the lights. 
It's like little bits of artwork. Should probably... Oh, well, we're going up to 50 settlers. How many people can stay in a... Is it just two? So we need 15 cabins, but a total population of 50. So, I mean, it can have kids in the cabins as well. So 15 cabins is 30. 45 if they all have a kid. So I probably do need more cabins or I just build a shelter somewhere. Like a shelter would not be the worst thing. Shelter holds 25 inhabitants. Needs 10 cloth. I mean, I guess it's always sort of good to have it, right? I'll just have the shelter like here at this corner. A little bit away from the <laughs> the rest of the houses. But in case, you know, this will just make sure no one is homeless. Right? We're gonna have that. And this dirt road will extend across to there. Whenever we actually get to building. <laughs> There's a lot of kids. Once those kids grow up, we should be able to get um, uh, Once the kids grow up, we should be able to get more resources. Now the drought is about to hit. We have 250 food. It's not as much as I wanted Water is great though. So much water. It's almost full. That's good. Uh, 300 food. If I look at food here, in stocks, reserved, prop production limit, 366 total. 400. Okay. We have 26 settlers. Do we... No, they're all kids. They can't work. Uh, I do want to just build this next, though. Build this next. Because that's the 15th cabin, so we can just get that out of the way. Are we just, like, slowly building these hedges? 25 wood for a hedge. Maybe it's <laughs> That's actually a lot of wood. I put down how many hedges? I put down... Two, four, six, eight. Wait, no. Two, four, six. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. I put twenty-four hedges, and each hedge takes <laughs> twenty-five wood. <laughs> so it's twenty-four times twenty-five wood <laughs> going into hedges. Ah, uh, well, building the Garden of Eden during a drought is not uh, an easy task. Okay, so this is just a drought season. Everything's dead. Maceo says, many of our settlers are forced to move across the wasteland unprotected. We should boost our production of protective clothing. Okay. Yeah, okay, we, we can actually do that. So what we'll do is we'll go to building. We'll go to resources. Nope. We'll go to tailor's shop. Next scarves activate carbon masks and radiation suits. So let's build this. Uh, we can have this next to the, where we refine some of these goods. So Taylor's shop will go there. And yeah, I assume we'll need cloth to turn into protective clothing. Because it says here, settlers with no protective clothing. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Okay, looking at this and radiation. Oh, a lot of the radiation has just dissipated. I guess that that's just like leftover fallout. How are people 
Still even temperedness. Okay. So we built 15 cabins. Now we just need to get to 50 settlers. That's our current objective. Uh, I should set this to building next. That's kind of important. What does it need? 32 wood, 12 cloth just to get the tailor's shop. Okay, so that's all our cloth is going to go into there. Uh, in terms of wait, the scrapyard, is it still... Let's check the field of work. There's still a little bit here. Is there any here? No. Yeah, I want to clear off this. Then check here. So I think I can set this to... It just stay on just cut down. But I'm going to change the field of work to here. Because I think we cleared off a nice clearing here around the industrial area. Did we just gain two new workers? Nice. Uh, let's put a scrap collector back. Put a forester in. We should probably just take off fishers, right, at this point. Let's go into forestry. Yes. Okay, good. Now, any uh, wood coming in should... Oh, yeah, this filled up straight away. 32 wood. Now we're just waiting on the cloth. So, this should get us plenty of wood. Uh, this is 52 wood. Population's up to 31. So, I think I should get... Um... Yeah, once the tailor's built, should set this to build next. Uh, yes. Replace building. Oh! Greenery's coming back. We have... I love how when you build quote-unquote hedges, when they're under construction, they're just like branches or dead leaves. But then once you're, they're constructed, they turn green. <laughs> We're literally constructing the leaves of the hedges. I know, it's a metaphor. I do want to leave these natural trees here, though. I think this this natural forest is a good look. It's actually raining. So if we check... Where is it? Soil moisture. Yeah, this looks good. Oh, right. The, the rain does actually spread in showers. So you can see where it is currently raining. Like here. What's this? Oh. I mean, one thing that always strikes me about this game is the amount of visual detail it actually has. Like, look at look at all the tiny details. It, it's like it all. It, it's always surprising to me how much there is. Like how much there is to actually look at. If you really zoom in on things. And you can actually see like there's all sorts of little tiny details. Which honestly aren't even necessary, right? Oh, anyway. Okay, good. Uh, our Garden of Eden project. Oh, we chopped those trees fast. I think I should set this to now. Um cut down and reforest. So that'll slow down the amount of wood we're getting. Um, this... 6, 12... We still have scrap. Oh, food is low. Right, I took people off fishing. But we have unassigned workforce. Let's max fishers. Max fishers, max gatherers. Don't know if it's worth hunting. If there's anything to hunt. Population is going up, so I should probably think of um, planting something, right? Uh, let's go to food, cultivated field. It should be okay to just farm here. 
A 10 by 10 field. Yeah. Yeah, that should be able to be built quickly. This. Okay, almost has everything it needs. Oh, this required 10 cloth as well. That's why all the cloth. I didn't realize that it took cloth. Okay, well, fine. Uh, I should probably focus on building this next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Um, how many builders do we have? Three. Oh, our water supply has also been dropping quite significantly. Um, food's low as well. Let's drop a forester. Put a water carrier. Maybe I should have started farming earlier. Don't know why I built this charcoal kiln. I just set it to... I guess it doesn't matter whether it's deactivated or not if there's no one to work there. There are animals to hunt. Look at this guy. Billy goat. 80 food. Maybe putting down a hunter will actually... help with that as well. Let's just have a hunter's cabin right here. Hunter's Lodge, rather. Okay, Taylor's Shop being built. We've got 12 people with no protective clothing. That's kind of a problem. This is a game where it's just... Oh, we just don't have enough people. We need people for everything, but then as people goes up, you know, you start running out of food. <laughs> So you, you just need more of everything. That's what survival games do best, isn't it? You just always want more of everything. Season 10. Great. We actually made it 10 seasons. We're not dead yet. Settlers up to 33. This has... the shelter has everything it needs, so that just needs to be constructed. The tailor is down, so what I need to do here... Food is the problem. Um, I think I... No, I need the refiner to keep making cloth. Um, I guess I take off a forester and put in a tailor. Maybe take out a scrap collector to try and solve this tailoring problem. So the activated carbon masks needs charcoal. So uh, I guess we can do that. We have some of it. And eventually I can get this coal going. I think I should actually... And I would... No, building another forester's lodge will not help. We can't even keep that fully staffed at the moment. One unassigned workforce. Yeah, let's keep the forester going. I think what I'll do is I'll set it to just cut down, but change the field of work to here. So there's tons of fresh trees. We'll cut them all down. Uh, farmer. <laughs> Forgot. Um, I guess I'll take out a builder, put in a farmer. We gotta choose seed, not lupines. Let's plant cabbages. Try and get food supply going back up. Hunting lodge. Needs 18 wood. Only put the old and infertile here. <laughs> no, we'll we'll let all sh any settlers can just overflow into this shelter. Nice. Okay. 
We've got 16 residential buildings. Oh, this counts as right as a residential building in attractive surroundings. All right, but we're we're quickly approaching our target population of 50. This one farm has got their work cut out for them. Food supplies crawling back up nicely. All right, so I think I should set this as build next that way you can see we actually have what's it four types of food that's good that should keep people happy keeps them healthy and lowers the risk of disease is this functioning okay needs cloth oh right yeah well this is going as fast as it can. Um, I guess I need another... Oh, no, I can't have another refiner. We have scrap. I think it's just... Like, I'd have to build another recycler, I think. I guess that's the next project. Let's build another recycler. That'd be under resources. There it is, recycler. Right here. Because we just don't have cloth. Oh, we're making two activated carbon masks. That's good. So we still have some charcoal in storage. Storage capacity in this building is running low. I just need to process it, really. It's a sure thing this new tailor shop will do a wonderful job. We've already started production and achieved the preliminary figures, Chief. Rewards five masks. Oh, that's good. Let's do it! Okay, so that, that really helps things along. <laughs> five, five free masks is... Like five cloth. It's like two and a half cycles of this recycler. Nice that you can cycle these buildings as well. Okay, so this is being built next. Um, it just needs wood. Are those? What are those? Oh, right. These things. So yeah, there's, there's stuff to hunt. Now that water has come back. Food supplies seems to be increasing. Oh, did people die? I think our population went down by two? Or did it go up? I'm not sure. Um, we still have charcoal. Uh, I want another refiner. Build next. I could have a hunter. Let's take a fisher off and put it as hunting. Yeah. There we go. Our population is 36. I think it, it... It didn't go down? I think... Yeah, I think it was just 34 before. Okay, so adding in a hunter gives us another type of food. We've got like berries and vegetables. We've got fish. We've got wild game. And hopefully we'll get cabbages as well. That's a lot of types of food. Look at that. I think, I think we can actually see the little cabbages planted there. You see that? Yeah, there is a little bit of a graphic. Look at that. I hear the goats. They'll soon be mine. Okay, food supply has gone back up. Water's at 666. That's a good sign. <laughs> Um, one unassigned workforce. Let's have another farmer, I guess. No, I, I should get my forester going. Like, just max that out because we, we just don't have enough. I planted too many shrubs. But, uh... Yeah, we, we need to... 
Uh, activate carbon mask. Well, if I wanted to produce charcoal, we're going to need to get more wood. So that it makes sense. It makes sense. Hmm. Okay. In stock reserved 321. Oh, that means... Oh, the 321 is... It's It's been, like, marked out to go somewhere, I think. I think that's what that means. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Nope, not that. Let's speed up the game. I think things have sort of settled down a little bit. Food supply looks good. Could do with a bit more water. Hmm. So there's this. Yeah, I've been seeing this open quick menu. So instead of like selecting the building and doing special options, you can actually just do this. That's actually kind of nice. Just going to take me a little bit of getting used to, I think. Oh, I see the population change was adults. Wait, what's that? Uh, settlers with no tools. Oh, we're running out of tools. But also, we're running out of water. We're running out of everything. Let's have another water carrier. Food looks good. Um, how do I do this? So I got two in the tailor, two refiners. Maybe I don't need two in the tailors. Actually, no, this goes very slowly. Workshop, huh? Okay, I guess we're doing that next. Scrap and metal. Oh no. We need so much stuff. I guess the workshop can go there. This road will extend further out. And this will be set to build next. Okay, that looks like it's producing four activated carbon masks. Cloth production coming through properly. We do need six more metal for that. But I think I should solve the protective clothing issue first. Uh, as the population goes up, they just start needing so much stuff. Um, let's reduce a gatherer. Let's max out water carriers. Because water supply is popping down. Professionals are complaining about a lack of tools. Maybe we ought to build a workshop to be able to ensure that everyone's working effectively. Understood. Gotta build a workshop. So, population at 36. I suppose two kids can live in each of these houses. So technically we could have four people. There's just a lot of kids here. Does everyone have kids? Not everyone. Anyone living here? No. Okay. So it's just sort of waiting on more kids, I think. We need another 14 to at least hit our first goal. That's kind of important, right? Can't have an empty garden. Well, I was going to say, we can't have an empty garden of Eden, but... <laughs> I suppose the people aren't exactly the important part of it. Okay, let's speed up the game. Producing four activated carbon masks. These should last quite a good amount of time. Oh, I see. It, it's sort of an overlap. So we just produce two. We need to produce two more. Then we're running out of tools. Two unassigned workforce. Okay. Let's add scrap collectors. Uh, I have a feeling 
We need to move the... No, this one. We need to move the field of work. It's not fully emptied out. But I think I need to speed this up a bit. Let's change the field of work to nearby. Surviving is kind of important. We need more scrap so we can keep producing cloth. Just got another person, I think. Yes, one more unassigned workforce. Uh, food and water looks to be okay. Um, let's put in that technish. No, we don't have metal. Let's keep the scrap collector going. We're going to need to build another uh, recycler so, uh, so that we can start producing metal. Let's have another recycler here. Set this to build next. Wait, no. Keep building the workshop first. What does this need? Oh, this needs metal to build the thing. Okay, so yeah, we should build this next. Replace building. Let's build the recycler first. We're <laughs> just out of everything. We don't have enough of anything. <laughs> Population's up to 40, though. So that's that's good. Uh, we've been producing like these activated carbon masks for so long and it's just everyone always needs more. And we're running out of tools, so that's not good. One unassigned workforce. What do we need? Another scrap collector. We can get that refiner going. So that we can start producing some metal with the third refiner. Okay, you are producing metal. Oh, people are getting unhappy again. Well, at least it's less than 10 required. Oh, that's a lot of cabbages though. That could be good. If Since our food's gone up, what we can do is... Take down a gatherer. And we'll put in a technician. Right, we still we still got some supply of that charcoal that I made earlier. Here comes two more activated carbon masks. Okay, that's down to five. So now actually a more urgent need is the workshop. Okay, producing metal. That metal goes into building this, which we should set this to build next. Population's 43, looking good. I severely underestimated how much wood was required to build hedges. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, maybe we, we, we just... I was just sort of imagining... We just need a geck, don't we? That's what we need. We, we need a Garden of Eden creation kit. That's what we need. That's the important thing. But we don't have that, so we're sort of building it from scratch. There is a drought approaching, but wood, uh, water and food looks good. So, ooh, two unassigned workforce. Let's have another farmer, I guess. And then we want another technician. Okay, it looks like we've actually solved this problem. I'm going to switch this to metal. So now let's solve the workshop problem. We actually made enough activated carbon masks. Two unassigned workforce. Let's get a charcoal burner down. And then... A fisher, I guess. Oh, we're harvesting the cabbages. Yes. Look, seven types of food. Seven types. That's nice. Look at that. Types of food. Such a great diet. <laughs> it's actually a really good diet. You yeah, know, some forage stuff. 
cabbages, fish, game meat. Wait, how is it seven? Uh, fish, gathered, hunted, farmed. I guess you pick up a few things. Oh, we're actually clearing that forest area there. Um, I see more hedges going down. It's looking nice. Is this scrap tool, metal tool? This takes metal and wood. Oh, this is just scrap. I should do metal tools. I've got metal production going. So this is wood, scrap, and metal. But it should just be much better. It should solve the problem in the long run, right? Rather than using a bit of scrap and wood. Now the problem is, is any wood actually going into the workshop? I would hope so. Let's look at the field of work. I think that's fine. We can just keep that going. Population's 49. We just need one more person. The first steps <gasps> have been taken. While others merely make sure that the settler's survival is guaranteed, you have shown us that you possess the foresight to readily pursue our great vision from the very start. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Got it. The first steps have been taken. Although to erect a truly great city, we're still going to need several more things. You should begin by creating many tools and continue to beautify our settlement. What's more, your settlers will want to be incorporated into your decision-making processes. Show them that their wishes mean a great deal to you. Let's do it. Ah, oh, we actually survived and doing quite well. Uh, buildings in the category of decorations. 69. Nice. Uh, equip at least half your settlers with tools made of metal. Forum built. Accomplish missions that your settlers have posted on the bulletin board. Zero out of five. So, 69 decoration buildings? That's a lot. But it, it doesn't say which specific decoration buildings. So, we could... Well, we do need to solve this tool problem first. So, let's solve the tool problem first. Building a forum. We could build a forum. That should be easy enough. Uh, it would be under community, forum. We can go across from the shelter. No, maybe between the shelter and the housings. Yeah, that looks good. We'll build the forum there. Then we have to accomplish five missions. So let's set this to build next. A wood, scrap, metal, 20 metal. Okay. So we're actually stocking up on cloth. We're stocking up on metal. This metal tools are being produced. We're short by 15, but... We've got enough activated carbon masks. We should be producing a little bit of coal as well. Yes, so it's all... Coming together, three unmanned workforce. Let's put another builder back in. Let's put two builders back in. Let's max out builders. Because we it looks like we actually got a lot of resources, right? Yeah, over a thousand water. Almost two thousand water. Over a thousand food. 49 wood, 214. I need to build more storage, actually. That, that wood bar... Oh, we just used all the wood. I guess it all went into here. 58 wood, 36 scrap, 20 metal. Okay, yeah. I don't think I want much more population than this because it's going to be quite a lot. So in terms of decorations, 
We can finish off these hedges, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So that's 18 plus 26. That's 26, 40, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. The new workshop is up and ready for action. Our engineers made an extra effort to immediately do something against the shortage of tools. That will surely help us quite a bit. Thanks, Chief. Reward seven tools. Nice. Great. What's that other problem? Settlers with no protective clothing. Is it really running out? We're really short on tools. It's hard to, to maintain this population. Oh well, should be okay, should be okay. Limitation on protective clothing. Uh -huh. Restriction on tools. Uh -huh. yeah, that's fine. Okay. Number of required tools is below 10. That's good to see. Producing metal. Okay. Producing cloth. More kids are being born. That could be little problem. So if we're going to have 44 decorations, I then need another 25. So I should probably just build cheap decorations, right? So like this takes 10 wood. Is that the cheapest? This is torches are five wood, five scrap. So are street lamps. I think, I think it's street lamp time. Along this road here. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Rotate this around like this, like this. That's the correct spot. That's gonna look great. Yes! Oh, it's like a modern city. We just got these street lamps down a main road. Hey, Chief, there are more and more of us settlers lately. If our population figures continue to rise so rapidly, it might lead to supply bottlenecks. You can control the population growth a bit by housing more settlers in shelters or via the forum by prohibiting the settlers from reproducing in the near future. Okay. The decision's up to you. We just thought you definitely ought to know that we're reckoning with a whole bunch of new children in the near future. Understood. The forum is down. Decreed issues. Birth control. Banished children? Children are banished from the settlement? This lowers confidence of the settlers by five. <laughs> Banish elderly. Oh, we can be so mean. Search for survivors, water rationing. Okay, so those are basically emergency things. Uh, we're not building any more houses. What's going on? Oncoming drought. No. Oh. Production has stopped. Is it... Uh, change field of work. So scrap has actually run out. Let's grab this scrap. And forest... Uh, 
Yeah, just keep cutting down. Until the the hedges are built. We just need tons of wood. I love this road though. That got our buildings in the decorations category up to 46. And also doesn't just limit all the decorations up to there. We could sort of decorate down here a bit, I guess. Maybe more thematic. We do have that. Let's go to... Yeah, let's build a scrap totem. Right here. The Dragon of Industry. Okay, our people are almost happy. <laughs> okay, so I can just access this from here. If I wanted to enact any decrees. Food and water seem to be doing okay. If I check, there's four unassigned workforce. What can I boost up? Uh, we can have another charcoal burner, I think. Is everything else maxed? I guess we can have another hunter. Five builders seems like a lot. Let's have another farmer. Oh, why are we really low on everything? Tools, protective clothing. Unhappy settlers attend to their individual needs. Well... You're going to have to deal with it, I think. It's a drought. Um, we're not able to keep up on these tools, though. Protective clothing. I think it's mainly the population going up. I mean, we have two recyclers producing metal. We have plenty of scrap in store. We actually have a stock of metal. I think I need to build another workshop. I mean, 29 of our settlers, at least half of your settlers, you know, 29 have tools. I think it's sort of important to have like surplus buildings so that you can sort of, um, Let's do that. Uh, so you can, when suddenly needed, we can uh, just like surge production into something. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff to do. Okay. Uh, what's this? Low water reserves. Oh, that tanked real quick. What? It, it dropped by like two-thirds. Maybe I should be storing water a bit more. Water tower. Rainwater collector. Needs 24 plastic. Perhaps I should have this. Wow, we just ran out of water, huh? That is concerning. Build this next, please. Because it's raining right now. <laughs> Lake fills right back up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we just... I did not expect that water to disappear so quickly. Uh, we can max out food gatherers, I think. Um, build... Maybe a well. Yeah, let's have a well right here. We're worried that our water reserves might not get us through these hard times. Shouldn't we be collecting more? Yes. We most certainly should be. 
Have we actually... Oh, we've almost finished building all the hedges. How do we just not have enough protective clothing? Thirsty settlers. Okay, okay. What is going back up? What's going back up? Settlers with no tools. Uh, we can have two more technicians. We can have the well keeper. Um, I think we need to build more... ...of everything. <laughs> I think we just need more of everything. Let's go back to resources. Let's do the recycler. Let's get like two more recyclers. Let's put them over here. Two more recyclers, then maybe another tailor. Tailor. Uh, just there. Yeah, okay. Okay. 30 people. What's our population? 50... 62. Okay, yeah, we, we have too many people. I assume... Yeah, the shelter is... A very old adult, huh? I don't know, lots of young adults as well. Okay. Yeah, that population skyrocketing is actually kind of difficult. One more unassigned workforce. We're gonna want the refiner and the tailor. Uh, I mean, we have enough charcoal. So we need, to, yeah, we need to produce more. Okay, so we need to produce more cloth and more metal. Uh, we actually have a stock of metal, so I think we need to produce more cloth. So, okay, let's check this. Um, let's reduce a builder and max out refiners. Let's reduce a builder and max out tailors. Two charcoal burners seems like it's enough. Kids are still being born. Okay. Also, these roads are never going to get built until these hedges are done. Uh, but I think we now have enough wood and stuff to finish the hedges. 61, 62, 63. So I just need six more decorations. But this should... I thought I set this to... Oh, we don't have any plastic! I forgot we don't have plastic. We need to produce some plastic. Okay, so it seems like we have enough metal and cloth coming through. We've doubled our... Now this is just doing neck scarves. Because apparently 42 people do not have <laughs> enough stuff. Okay, okay. We don't have enough water either. I think maybe I just build another jetty. Like over here. Uh, we can line that up. Like another cistern. Right here. Someday these roads will be done. Actually, I'm seeing the roads kind of be done.
Okay. Let's... Really increase water carriers. This this should now double our water. Theoretically. Okay, so I'm letting this one just do neck scarves because I think it is produced faster. Activated carbon mass coming in. All right, Chief, you did it. Our water carriers doubled their efforts and they were able to collect even more water than usual. With these kind of reserves, we'll definitely survive. <laughs> Press X to doubt. <laughs> I think some people... I think I lost an adult. Maybe someone died of old age. Uh, thirsty, unhappy, no protective clothing, no tools. Okay. Bulletin board. I haven't even been looking at these. Um, in large parts, our settlers are still trudging across the settlement on unpaved routes. Maybe it would make sense to make a road network work a bit. What do you think, Chief? Sure, let's do it. What else do you guys want? Old tools? Uh, dead bodies on our street. So you got to complete the mission first. Okay, okay. Paved roads? I think we can do that. I think. Uh... Right, open missions to do on the bulletin board. Got the form to look at them. Okay, solid ground. Build dirt roads. 328. Okay, so we, we're almost there. We just need to build a bit more. Let's do that. That's easy. Dirt roads. So we can just have this go up to here. This go up to here. 328. that not quite connected well that's fine <laughs> sure can we cut one across here uh-huh we can loop this one round back here and we can have an alternate actually no I kind of like this one main road all lit up like that We can have this. No, that doesn't look right. And we shouldn't need that much more, right? I can do this. Okay. We'll see how many that is. Oh, there we go. The road construction is complete. That's a good start, Chief. Got it. I did a mission. Great. Let's have a look at the forum. Oh, it's not from there. Let's have a look at the forum. What else? More storage capacity. Hey, Chief, our settlement is steadily growing and some of us are afraid that sooner or later we'll run out of storage capacity. Shouldn't we build a few warehouses? Yes, I can do that. Um, how many? Oh, just one? Just one warehouse build. Warehouse. Uh, must be unlocked through research. Oh no. Uh, we need to get some research stuff. Um, maybe we should get the expedition. Association. Okay, I guess. Oh, Jesus, is so huge. Um, doesn't require... Maybe profession researcher, scout explorer. Needs tools. Jeez. 
Didn't realize we needed to research for the warehouse. I suppose we could abandon <laughs> the mission. Well, at this point, I think there's five homeless people as well. Jeez. Um, that's going to affect... I think we have to do... Yeah, prohibits childbirth. I think we have to. If those are your instructions, Chief, then that's the way we'll stick to them. Even though we're not particularly happy about them and would gladly decide for ourselves when to start our families. It would be better if you could see to it that we're able to continue to grow. Understood. I know, I know, but we just don't, just don't have enough. Um, we can't clothe everyone. So we do have metal, we do have cloth. We're producing little bits of plastic. We got this rainwater collector down. Uh, is everything maxed out? Let's do that. Um, I think we need to prep... Uh, we have another cultivated field or something. Like a large one. Is that too big? Uh, let's, how big can we go? Up to 16? We can do 16 by 16. Let's plant cabbages. Max out farmers. Okay. So that should... Uh, water seems solved. Food should be solved with that cabbage stuff. Uh, I think we just need to... Yeah, we're getting plenty of cloth and metal. So I need to build more uh, resources. Let's have another workshop. I can have it here, I think. Another workshop. And another tailor's shop. And then let's max out tailors. Oh, we need one more. Max out technicians. And hopefully that will... Let me see this. This is doing scrap tools. We do have plenty of scrap. We're just trying to get everyone tools, right? Oh, but we do have the goal of equipping everyone with metal tools, so let's do that. Oh. Surprisingly difficult. After that, we can start thinking about research. Should I just go and build a ginormous research station? I think I kind of want to, <laughs> right? Hmm. Maybe I should do an expedition station. That seems more prudent. Okay, also I think I need to set this down to cut down and reforest. Let's change the field of work. Just realized that is actually out. Shift them over there. In terms of scrap collecting, how are we doing? Almost collected all the scrap. Get that stuff. Okay. I thought we were sort of solving the problem, but the increase in population actually really hurt things. Uh, oncoming drought. We do have 4,000 water stored this time. Which hopefully is enough. We can add some scouts in. Okay. 
Needs metal, needs plastic. Okay, so we are producing a little bit of plastic, right? Yep. How much wood did this take? 36, 58 scrap. Okay, that's quite a lot. And we're not building... We do need to throw down a few more decorations. So let, let's get at least that goal down. Let's go to decorations. Flower beds, kind of costly. Torches, we can throw down some decorative torches. Let's do this. And right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be enough, I think. Is this contaminated? It is contaminated. Not so great. Uh, these needs, I think we are actually solving it. Settlers with no tools down to 10. Settlers with no protective clothing down to 8. Homeless settlers, 20. Unhappy settlers. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize homeless settlers went so high. We need to build another shelter. I can't quite fit there. Okay. I'll just be off center. Okay. Oh, that's so much resources. You guys just out of metal? Yeah. Five spare workforce. We need so many um, recyclers. Let's get more recyclers. Can I fit? No. How about here? Yeah, I need more cloth, need more metal, need more plastic. It is a drought right now, so let's watch our water supplies tank. Oncoming sandstorm as well. Who knew building the Garden of Eden? in the post-apocalyptic wasteland would be a difficult task. <laughs> oh, I think you can actually see it here on the map. Okay. Sandstorms here. During a drought. We've built enough decorations. Just needs a bit more metal. How about this? Needs a bit more cloth. Okay. Let's go here. You can up refiners. So doing cloth. Doing metal. Get more metal. Get more cloth. Food supplies a little low. Does the drought ruin our cabbages? Drought lasting quite a while. This shelter should solve the homeless problem. Okay, we actually had enough water to survive there. Rains are back. The cistern storage capacity is low. This one's doing okay. F 
five unassigned workforce. Okay, the shelter actually housed everyone. But look at the, the needs. We're just now a little short on tools. Okay, so it's still making some scrap tools, but why is our food supply dropping so drastically? Oh, the gatherer's cabin. I chopped down all the trees. <laughs> right, that's kind of a problem. Hunters. Maybe hunt over there. Missing resources to repair this building. Oh. Yeah, we just sort of shot in everything. Additional storage capacity wasn't able to be provided for until now, Chief. Sooner or later, that could become a problem. Failed mission task. Yep, yep. That's my bad. I didn't know we just couldn't do it. We don't have enough housing. Our people are living on the streets, Chief. We shouldn't let anyone sleep outdoors under these conditions. That should be something that I can do. Let's do it. Oh, I've already done it. People are pretty happy with their new homes. They'll move in and look towards a brighter future. Oh, we get rewards for doing this. I should do that more often. Uh, a test for the economy. The settlers are very satisfied. To enable their good mood to be pepped up even further, I suggest we fit them with the best equipment we could manufacture. However, that might may be a burden on our economy. I think I can do that. Let me just um, confirm what that is. Metal tools produced, radiation suits produced, and medicine. Uh, didn't think it'd be that much. Radiation suits need charcoal, cloth, and plastic. Okay, we can try produce some of that. Um, how much do we need? Not a lot of it, right? Eight, just eight. Metal tools, yes. Radiation, we can just do eight. Medicine produced is something that I think we need to we need to get a herbal hut. I think. Let's try do this. Build next. Does this need anything much? No. Okay, what's this? Hungry settlers. I think the drought really stopped my crops from growing. That's kind of bad. I mean, fisher, gatherer, hunters. Maybe I can get more fishing going? Like, I don't have a fishing hut on this side. Our uh, people are getting hungry. Yes. Excuse the dog. <laughs> oh, there's a dog barking outside my window. <laughs> um, okay, people are getting hungry. I think we should focus on gathering more food. What do you think, Chief? I mean, that sounds like a good idea. Just uh, just an inkling that, yeah, we should. Um, nearby resources. I think I got to change field of work to somewhere much further away. Okay. Let's go here, then we go to Herbalist. Let's max that out. Let's pull down Builders. Let's max Fishers. We did actually get this Expedition Station. No ongoing scout missions. Open Expedition Window. Let's... Um, You want to go here? Let's go somewhere closer by. Uh, let's go to... Uh, that one. Maybe I should just go to the closest one. Where is it? This one. Interesting location. Send scout. Okay. Do I even need to do this? 
anymore. I got this because I was hoping to like find some science or something, but we're not going for science anymore. Okay, looks like we are harvesting the cabbages. That's good to see. We've doubled our fish production. That should be handy. Uh, I wanted to also extend this dirt road up. Uh, it has to go like this. Then it can just extend up to here. That actually works out nicely. Ruin scouted. Combine harvester. The rune is nothing special, however, if we send some of us on an expedition, at least we could dismantle the materials and transport them back to the settlement. Is that food? Or is that seeds? Or food? And electronics? Yeah. Configure, expedition. Now let's send three, I guess. It's not that important. A major portion of the food reserves we've stockpiled seems to be contaminated. We urgently ought to do something about it so that our settlers stay healthy. Contaminated food? That's not good. We've solved- look at that, we've solved all the problems in the top right corner though. So now I just set this to producing metal tools so that we actually can fulfill that second check mark. Okay, when some came back, but it's not so bad, it's not so bad. If I look at the metal tools produced, we produced two radiation suits. No medicine produced, though. Uh, this herbal hut... Wait, does the herbal hut not produce medicine? Let me just check this. Would it be a resource? Herbal hut. This is food. Medical facility. Medicine, iodine tablet, or the luxury item soap are produced at the medical facility. Right. Let's build that then. this road built? Okay, let's extend the road up this way. And yeah, across here. Many of our settlers are forced to move across ways and unprotected. Yep, that's becoming a problem again. We temporarily solved the problem. What's this? Settlers in poor health. Gathering herbs. Oh, I got this going. I got this herbal hut going. Gathering herbs. Three unassigned workers. Oh, we lost the water carrier. Are these people just dying? Let's reduce scouts. Uh, replace the hunter. Max those out. Okay. Expeditions waiting for instructions. I think you no know, they're 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 salvaging it, yeah. That's good. Okay, so more than half of our settlers have metal tools. So now it's just about fulfilling these settlers' requests. Um, they're a little bit more complicated than I expected because they, they often were like... They don't... Uh, like they, they ask for like particularly difficult things sometimes. It's like a test for the economy. We can do the radiation suits. We've got the metal tools. 
We just need the medicine. Buildings in the category food. Needs to be seven. I guess we do need more food buildings. Can I build another fishing hut? I guess that sort of works. Right, this this should be this should solve our food problem. I think our population is staying where it needs to be now because everyone's just in shelters. It needs metal, plastic, but yeah, build this next. See if we can actually produce some medicine. That should keep our people alive. Food seems to be going up now. I think, oh, we're just doing a cabbage harvest, that's why. Well, we're, use, we're using up, like, every resource we've got. Settlers with no protective clothing. I mean, we're... Can I stop producing radiation suits? Yes. Let's switch this back to... Activated carbon masks. That will save... A lot of cloth and plastic resources, yep. And we do need plastic to build a medical facility. I don't know if they, we can just use herbs to produce medicine. Uh, wheat, electronics. Yeah, just just come back. Like the the expedition right now is not my priority. Like our goals have changed. We need to focus on other things. Did we just lose some people? Oh my bad. Uh, uh, yeah, reduce that, increase that. Yeah, think for now I disable the scouts, max everything else. Kind of important. Large quantity of food. Nice. That gives us a little bonus. I will disable the expedition station. Okay, we almost have enough plastic there. I th yeah, I think our population should hold right about here. How much time we do we have for this? Yeah, I didn't think you'd ask for medicine. Professionals are complaining about lack of tools. Yep. Someone's irradiated as well. <laughs> that's that's difficult. Unknown researchers. Uh, what other things? Mysterious barrels. Influences. Decontamination post. Dead bodies on our streets. Okay, good. Yeah, fulfilling those tasks does help somewhat. Because of the rewards. Okay. The medical facility can be built. I don't know if we'll be able to produce the medicine in time. 
medic. Uh, for now, I'll just do this. Max out medics. Because now we're controlling our population, but still expanding in terms of industries. Yeah, produce medicine. Yeah, it just requires herbs. Okay, so we're collecting herbs from the herbal hut. We can produce medicine here. How much time? <laughs> I don't think we're going to make it. 195 medicine. Uh, if, if this task is not done successfully, discontentment. Mm. Well, we got it set up, but it's a bit too late, I think. Yeah, water supply is contaminated as well. Well, all in all, I think our... Nice. All in all, our, our town is... Our Eden is doing well. It's just... Yeah, failed mission task. Better luck next time. Okay. Was that... Yeah, okay. Well, let, let's try find something else. More storage capacity. Dead bodies on our street. So dead bodies on our street. Can we do this? Give these poor souls a place where they can rest in peace. I should be able to do that. Okay. Uh, I assume that means construct a cemetery. Yes. Surely we do not need tech for that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's build a cemetery next to the medical facility. So if we fail at our jobs, well, they don't have to travel far. Yeah, right there. Sorry about that. Um, okay, wood scrap. Okay, we have the resources for that. Nice. Can have a road going over, so that's fine. Checking here. Assign a mortician. Build the cemetery. Okay, so we just set this to make sure it's built next. Four builders, get that done. Okay, these these are tasks we can do. I want to get this this stage of the objectives done. Okay, resources are looking okay. People are unhappy and a little bit radioactive, but not too bad. It seems like we finally got enough recyclers down. Now that is a lot of radiation to clear up for the cemetery. You don't want them waking up again, do we? Is this scrapyard exhausted? It is. There's like a ton of scrap right here. Let's do that. Like, we probably should be... Defense buildings, tasks, uh, logistics, community, housing, resources. It's quite a lot of stuff. Food. Hmm. Decontamination post. Produces decontamination kits and supplies them to appropriate buildings. They are used to free stored resources from contamination due to radiation. Sandstorm. 
I mean, not too many people are contaminated. Only three, right? That's not so bad. I'm bringing resources over here. Scrap wood. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've got enough. We can build this pretty quickly. This is a task that, that won't take too long. Oh, that fire dragon really worked out. I think the lights are the best looking thing, right? Look how fast our water drops. It's a good thing. This can be taken care of now, chief. We've assured families of the deceased that their kinfolk receive an appropriate last place to rest in peace. Great. So that's three out of five. Feast. New medicine. Balanced diet. More storage capacity. Which one is feast? Some of the settlers came up with the idea to distribute some of our reserves to the inhabitants so they can all have a real feast again for a change. Do you think we can treat ourselves to that? We do have quite a lot of food, yes. Yes. Oh, that took water as well, of course. <laughs> but uh, that, that at least is an instant task, so that's good. Maybe you shouldn't have thrown a feast during a drought. I don't know. Maybe it's no education opportunities. New seeds, knowledge, new technologies, new medicine, balanced diet. Balanced diet? The diet is lopsided. More variety. I don't think I can get more variety than what we're already doing. I forgot I took out people from water collection. But we just have to do one more. Um, no educational opportunities. I think we can actually... Where would it be? Um, school. We could probably build a school. Children don't have any place where they can learn how to survive in this hostile environment sensibly and effectively. We ought to make sure that they can go to school. Yes, I can do that. And just make sure school built, assign a teacher. Yes. Oh, we can actually do it. School. Oh, it's big. Can it fit here? Yes, perfect. The school can go right here next to the farm. Build next. Wood scrap. Yep, we've got enough. And... Let's pull down a herbalist. Let's put in a teacher. Let's pull out a medic. Put in a fisher. Let's, let's Pull out a medic, put in a builder. Yeah, we'll hang back on the medicine. That's what the graveyard's for. <laughs> okay, now we can build a school and actually finish phase two of Garden of Eden. All right. Things got a bit panicky for a while, but uh, I think we figured it out. I think we figured it out. I think that explosion in population was just unexpected. 24 to 25. Yeah, everyone's just living in shelters now. There's the scrap we need. Here we go. At the new school, our offspring can learn everything they need to survive this settlement. It was really good that you built the school, Chief. The new civilization being created here is going to be capable of surmounting all obstacles in its way. Thanks to your leadership, we look toward the future with courage and enthusiasm. 
We think that you will be in a position to truly create a Garden of Eden for us all. Got it. You are on a very good path. Although, to achieve the best quality of life for your settlers, it's still going to be necessary to provide them with sufficient protective clothing. When that's been taken care of, we also ought to provide all dwellings with electricity. Other settlements won't be able to afford that kind of luxury. Should you complete this quest, this settlement here shall become a shining example of the new civilization. Understood. Ah, oh, we actually got it. I actually stabilized that a little town. <laughs> uh, it, it worked out, it worked out. Phase 3 says to see to it that all overall contentedness of your settlers is very high. Equip at least half your settlers with radiation suits. Provide all your settlers with a dwelling that is supplied with electricity. Um, accomplish missions that your settlers have posted on the bulletin board 5. And house everyone. Oh. Okay. I think, I think that's a good place to take a break right here. I think I actually did make this look kind of nice. Look at that. It's, it's kind of nice looking, right? This is where people live. It's cool. It's cool. Anyway, just as an overview of trying out Endzone on the PlayStation 5. Because it just had a console release. So... Thank you so much to Endzone for sponsoring this video, but actually I was just really sort of interested and excited in like seeing, okay, how does a city builder work on a console? And like, just honestly speaking, I thought it would be way, way harder to to play uh, a, like a city builder like this on a controller, but it actually worked out really nicely. Like it, after like, we went two hours in this video and I probably just messed around for like 15 minutes before just sort of learning the absolute basics of the controls. And it it feels fine. Like it's it's not difficult at all to play. Like I I was actually thinking this is this is gonna be a pain, isn't it? But it's not. So th that's what I was really excited in checking out. And I wanted to do this, like actually check it out properly for the first time while recording so that you guys can see me actually learn how to play this game with a controller and I feel like I actually didn't spend that much time learning which is probably the biggest achievement of this you know the UI makes sense it's easy to navigate and it's it's easy to sort of like just just play the game anyway that's going to be it for now. Thank you all so much for joining. Thank you to Endzone for sponsoring this video. And if you would like to check out the game, you can click the link down below. It will You can get the game on uh, console or on PC, wherever you like. Um, the link will give you options. And thank you so much for clicking that link just to let them know that you did actually come from me. Um, but yeah. You can also click the button on the bottom left corner of the screen right now to check the game out. It should lead to the same place. And that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and found it interesting and or useful. And I will see you in the next video.